This week on Machinery Pete TV, Pete finds some gems close to home in Minnesota, among them this beautiful 9620RX that brought top dollar at the sale. This Massey Harris is a perfect example of a top-notch restoration, and today's seller has a side business that's the toast of the town. Your machinery is a serious investment, and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see for yourself. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires, check out the Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery PTV. I want to thank you all these years watching. We're in season 10 of the show now. It's been great fun traveling all across the country. Uh, covering auctions and I tell you today we're very close to home for me just 20 miles south of Rochester Minnesota we're in Spring Valley down here to cover the farm retirement auction for Ron and Gary vote beautiful line of machinery but first it's time for share your legacy brought to you by Big Iron Auctions hey machinery Pete here folks I am with my longtime good friends Mark and Ron Stock owners of Big Iron and guys very exciting news the share your legacy program Mark, can you tell us about this new endeavor? Well, it's a program that we've kind of been doing in our business by capturing uh, information about the sellers that we've met over the past uh, nearly 40 years in business. And now we're just going to use that information and broadcast it to the world because so many of the uh, sellers and farm families in communities across the United States have been very instrumental, not only to their own operations, but to their communities as well. And as you know, Greg, uh, farmers don't like to get on a soapbox and beat their chest. And we're not really gonna do that also, but we're going to uh, highlight some of the things that they have done throughout their career right. that have impacted uh, not only their families, but everybody. Ron, can you speak to why this is important um, to you guys? It's so important. These stories are so interesting. Uh, I feel really blessed that I get to sit at kitchen tables and I know you do the same thing and hear these stories about great people, great men, great women, and their legacy. And so the Share Your Legacy program, uh, it is not about self-promotion of your company and our company. It's about telling our viewers we want to share those stories with you. They're so exciting. Well, folks, Machinery Pete TV, every week, Big Iron Share Your Legacy. It's going to be awesome. Stay tuned for more. The stories of farm families and small towns are the stories of rural America. They deserve to be memorialized and shared with the world. These legacies reveal a rich history and show us they are worth preserving. Share Your Legacy is a program produced by Big Iron Auctions. We're traveling the country in search of families and communities who have stories to tell. These are the stories of hard work, devotion, and perseverance. Tune in to Machine Repeat every Saturday on RFD TV to catch new features and visit BigIron.com to learn more. Well folks, you need a good loader tractor? Here's a pretty good option. A 2008 John Deere 7330 with a 741 loader, 3,549 hours on it. All right, beautiful tractor here, folks. 2013 John Deere 8360R, 2,685 hours on an IVT. Now, last night, the online bid on this thing was already up to 172,500 bucks, almost $20,000 over the current average auction price this year, 153,563 bucks. Let's set her in, let's have a little fun. I got 150 here, now 170, yep. 170, 170, 175, 175, a five, a five, a 175, and now 180, 180, now 180, now 190, 990, 990, 190 bid, now 90, now 90, now 200, 200, now a bill, now 200, 200, now a bill, now 210, 
Nice clean low hour tractor guys. Where do you find them all day for this kind of money? 255. 255 in the five, the five, the five, the five, the five, 255. Sold it there, 250,000. Hey folks, I'm here with brothers Ron and Gary Vogt. It's their retirement sale here in Spring Valley, Minnesota. And guys, we've got a nice blustery Minnesota day, don't we? It's, Beautiful it's day. typical for Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, so guys, you are, are just, just retiring now. We are, yep. Right. We've, we've done well and got some other interest and we're gonna, we're gonna pull the pin on this. And how are you guys feeling here as a blustery sale day rolls upon us? Yeah, kind of mixed emotions, I guess. You know, it's kind of exciting, but. How about you, Ron? It'll probably be tough to watch this equipment go down the road. Yeah, but... well, it's in beautiful equipment. Wow. Thank you know, Andrew you. Hamilton, uh, my auctioneer friend, told me quite a while ago, Pete, you gotta, you gotta check the sale out. And uh, boy, talk about clean. Can you guys talk about caring for you, your equipment over your career? Well, for what makes it easy is we, we farmed over 5,000 acres, and we didn't go much more than three or four miles from home. Every night the equipment came home, went into this shed, you know, got fueled here, it got greased here. So we didn't even have a fuel truck in our, our pickup. Mm -hmm. uh, we were so close, we just come home every night. We're so very lucky that, that way. Makes, that makes the equipment a lot easier to care for. Okay folks, time to hop in my machine repeat time machine. And we're heading back to March 25th of 2010 on an auction in Litchfield, Minnesota, where a 2008 John Deere 7330 tractor with a 741 loader and 1,230 hours on it, so for 80,000 bucks. Now today, on our auction, we have another 08 model, almost triple the hours with a 741 loader, and I think we're going higher than 80K. 100,000 where? 100,000, center in, what do you want to do? 50, and now 60, 50's the bid, and now 60 where? 60,000 on a bill, 60, 60, now 65, and now 70, 70, 70, 70, now 75. 75,000 on a bill, now 75, a five, a five, a five, and 75, now 80. 80 there now, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, nothing on a bill, do you want them now? 85, 85, in the five, the five, the five, the five, and 85, did you get it? Now 85, now 87, five. Hey, did you get 85? 85 there, got it now, 87, five. 87, five there now, 90 to 90 to 90 to 90,000, 92, five. 92, five now, 95, 95, 95,000. 95,000 on a bill, no 95, and five, and five, and five, and now 95,000. 95,000 on a bill, no 95, 95, 95, 95,000. 95,000 on a bill, no 95, and five, and five, and now 95. 95, and five, and five, and five, and five, and five, and five, and now 95. 95, anybody else? 92, five's the bid, and now 95,000. Sold them your way, 92, five. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. 170, 170. Sold it right there. 6100 on a bill. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 6100, 6100. Anybody else want to do it? 6100. Sold it in the back. 6000 dollars 75 internet's on it. 7 now. 75 You want to do it again? Trip the trigger here now. 7500. 7500. You're done. I'll be done too. 7500. Sold them on the net. 7000 dollars What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machine Repeat's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerepeat.com and click on the auction tab, then auction price data.
Well, folks, one of the hottest sectors in the used farm equipment market, and gosh, I guess every, almost every sector has been on fire here the last 18 months, but definitely recently we've noticed that used planting equipment has been red hot. Now, you maybe saw the blog I posted not too long ago on seed tenders. And if you go to our website, machinerypeat.com, of course, all our auction price data is free to look at. And if you go in there and punch up seed tender prices and filter by the highest prices first, what you're going to see is six of the seven highest auction prices ever on seed tenders all in the past month. Now, one of them right after the calendar flipped to 2023 on a January 5th farm auction in Fowler, Indiana, our friends at Schrader Real Estate and Auction sold this really sharp 2019 JNM 390 LC for 46,000 bucks, fourth highest price ever on a C tender at auction. And the two highest prices ever at auction came on the same sale back on December 9th, uh, online farm auction by our friends at Sullivan Auctioneers in Imperial, Nebraska. Again, a pair of JNM 390 LCs, a 22 model and a 21 model, both for 48,000 bucks. Now, if we switch gears a little bit and talk used planters, you might remember from a recent episode of Machinery Pete TV, our friends at Pauley Family Auction Services had a December 5th auction in Hamlin, Iowa, where they sold this 2021 Kinsey 4705 36-row 20-inch planter with hydraulic downforce. It went for $326,000. That's the second highest auction price I've ever seen on a planter. And 11 days after that, December 16th, 2022 on a consignment auction in Carthage, Illinois. Our friends at Wheeler Auctions and Real Estate sold this 2020 John Deere 1775 NT 24 row 30 inch, 8,775 acres on it for 280,000 bucks. And folks, good use no-till drills have also been hot. So any good used planting equipment item values have just been up. As you can see, it starts real good and it just drives like a new one and nothing else to be done with it. The Triple Series was the last tractors that Massey Harris made. Actually, the merger with Ferguson was going on at the time they were being built. Uh, uh, kind of a low production number, uh, all the Triple Series were. Uh, this particular one is a Riceland uh, version. It's got the arch front axle, the, the wide uh, tires on the rear uh, with the rice tires. So that is a factory made tractor. My dad uh, bought a triple four Massey Harris new when I was nine years old. So I kind of grew up on it. And uh, this one came from a, also came from a salvage yard just over west here at, at Auburn. A Massey dealer had it. I've pretty well restored it, actually switched motors in it. But uh, the rest of the tractor, uh, it's kind of a put together the best parts I had, the best motor, the best rear end and everything. It's uh, uh, the power steering and everything. It, uh, it is a good tractor. Strictly play toy, use it here. Show it down here at the uh, Power of the Past tractor show that we have every, every year in September and pull the family through the parade of power with a wagon behind it. For me, it's just a hobby and it's, uh, it's really fun, I guess you'd say, to, to be able to have something that, because when I was driving that tractor, 50 years ago, I didn't think about it, you know, ever wanting to restore it or get it back or anything, you know. So it's, it's, it's quite an experience, it's a nice hobby. Well, stay with us, folks. Coming up, our feature item on the show today, a 2018 John Deere 9620RX, 1,566 hours on it with extended warranty. This thing's been getting calls from all over the country. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. All right, folks, time for our feature item on the Chili Auction today, a 2018 John Deere 9620RX, 1,566 hours on this thing got extended warranty out through October of 23. Now almost one year ago exactly to the day on a farm auction in Stanchfield, Minnesota, we saw a similar 18 model 9620RX, 948 hours, and that one went for 495,000. 
Here we go. What do you want to sell here? And a 620RX should bring one. I don't know, 500 where? 500 in. Set her in. I got 200, 220, 225. Where do you got now? We got 300, 225. Now 50, 250 yes. there. Now 75, a five and 275. Yes. But now 300, 300 there. Now 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 325. 325 bid in a five, a five. But yes. now 325. Now 350, 350 bid in a 50, 50, 50, 50, 350. Yes. 350 there. Now 43, 75. 300 and 75. Yes. A five, a five, a five. But now 400, 400 on a bill. No, four, no, four, no, four, no, four. 400 there now 25 425 bid the 425 and 5 and 5 and 5 425 425 and 5 and 5 and 5 and 5 425 425 425 up the out 410,000 410 and 10 and 10 and 10 and 410 410 and 10 and 10 and 10 nice clean tractor right off the farm here guys you can have her and hold her today 410,000 410 and with Bob's man at 400 now 410 410 410. I'll let you in a little cheaper. Yes. You got 410 and now 420. 420 and a 20 and a 20 and a 420. 420,000 on a bill and a 20 and a 20 and a 20 and a 420. 420,000 on a bill and a 20 and a 20 and a 20 and a 20 and a 420. 420 and a 20 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 and a 20. Low hour machine guys here. 420,000. 420,000 on a bill and a 20 and a 20 and a 20 and a 20 and a 420. 420. 420. 420. Look at what you're saving, guys. Here, a new one's about, about seven hundred thousand. Four hundred and twenty. Four hundred and twenty thousand on a bill. No donny, no donny, no donny, no donny. No four twenty. Four hundred and twenty. Four hundred and twenty. If you'll be done, I'll be done too. Four hundred and twenty. Four twenty. Four hundred and twenty. Sold it Bob's way there for four ten. Well, there you go, folks. The feature item on the show today: the 2018 John Deere 9620 RX, 1,566 hours on it with about a year of extended warranty, so it's for $410,000. That's the fourth highest auction price I've ever seen on a 9620RX. Hey folks, I'm here with Gary Vogt, Spring Valley, Minnesota. Now Gary, I've covered a lot of farm auctions over the years. I don't think I've ever covered one where the person retiring owns a vineyard. The vineyard and, and winery, yes. And you own a very prominent Four Daughters uh, Vineyard and Winery. Correct, can you, yes. can you tell us about it? Well, this, uh, this was my wife's project. Uh, she wanted something. All of our daughters are professional people, you know, lawyers, doctors, PR, marketing. They were not going to take over the farm. Yep. And she wanted to start something that would bring the daughters back home. And three of them are back so far. One of them, the doctor, the doctor daughter is still out in Virginia Beach, sure. and we're, we're working on her. But uh, <laughs> anyway, that was her goal was to get the daughters, son-in-laws. We have 14 grandchildren and uh, she wanted them closer to home. So she decided she wanted to build a winery. And what year, now your, your wife uh, is Vicki. Yes, and what I year, asked my wife what. And what year did you start, <laughs> what year did you start 2010, we actually planted the vineyard a few years before that. And okay. We started the building in 2010. Okay. So yeah, and we've added on uh, three different times since then. We, okay. you know, we've added an event center. Uh, with an extra uh, kitchen in that. We've added uh, a cidery building, and then just uh, in the last year, we added a bourbon storage building also. So and it I, just keeps growing. I understand uh, your growth just been explosive. Uh, can you tell us about the, uh, the cider that was picked up by Budweiser? Correct, yep. So we make a, a product called Honey Crisp Apple Cider and uh, it, it just kept getting bigger and bigger and you know, now we're bringing in semi loads of, or tanker loads of, uh, of honey crisp cider mm. and we turn it into a, a, it's a 6% uh, alcohol product and, wow. and it goes out by the semi loads and we, we distribute quite almost all over in the Midwest. Okay. Uh, Budweiser distributes okay. for us, but yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of our workhorse now. That really took off. Hey folks, I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode of Machinery Repeat TV from the warmth of your living room. We've had a ton of fun out here in the cold wind here in Spring Valley, Minnesota. And I tell you, uh, hot bidding action on the 9620RX selling for 410 and the 8360R for 250. Interesting note, they both are the fourth highest auction price ever on those models. Now, I don't know about you, but right now I'm gonna go warm up. See you back here next week. Machinery Repeat thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see for yourself. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires, check out the Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com.